Welcome to the new learning commons. There's so much to do and so much to see. I can't wait to tell you about some of the awesome things that you'll find here. Come on in. This is the first thing you'll see when you walk in. This is the front desk where you can check out some of the great books that the Hillside Library has. That's right. After you've made your choice during library class, you can bring your books here and Miss Melly or Miss Holder will help you check them out. That's great. But where and how can we find books for checkout? Hmm. The shelves on the front desk have a lot of books that I loved when I was starting it to read at Hillside. These are great books to read independently or with a friend at the couches. Cool. Let's take a look by the reading couches and see what other books there are. It looks like my favorite graphic novel series is all on the same shelf. The shelves by the reading couches are where you'll find the graphic novels. And now you can use the couches right next to the shelf to figure out which graphic novel you want to take home. It's going to be a tough decision. I also need to check out a book for my research project. Where should I look? Here's a great spot to do to look if you are doing research. You can use the nonfiction shelves on this wall to find nonfiction books using the guides on top of each shelf. Right now I'm looking for information about dog breeds. Hey, I found some books about dogs over here. I used the sign to help me find what you needed. I think we should go take a look at the picture books and chapter books now. Oh look, all of the picture, picture books and chapter books are located in the same area. That's going to be really helpful when trying to find a new series to get into. I think I might try a new fantasy series. I can recommend some to you later, but right now I can't wait to see what the learning spaces look like at the learning hall. Now that you know your way around the shelves, let's look at the spot where we will get to do some learning. This is where we will meet for our lesson. I like that we can choose to sit on the floor or on one of these comfy seats. So do I, but if you think this space is cool, wait until you see the makerspace where we will get to work independently in small groups or with partners. This is the makerspace. It's where we can work together or on our own different projects. There are tons of seating options. You can work here at one of these low tables, or you, or you can choose to work at these long tables or triangle tables. The best part is that all of the, all of the tables and chairs are on wheels, so we can move around tables. We can move around the tables. No matter what we are working on, we will be ready. There is also great technology. There are Chromebooks and iPads that we can use to complete work conduct research, and explore learning apps. We will show you where we, you can find them. This is where you can find the iPads. Make sure that if you're using them, you return them when you're done. On this side of the room, you can find the Chromebooks. It's important that we take care of the technology so that we can use it for future years to come. The last thing we wanted to show you was the building materials and the Lego room. There's a whole closet filled with, thi filled with things you can build make and create with. Some of the choices include Legos, blocks, and programmable Roblox. Finally, there is a Lego hub, just like the one from Miss Farrow's classroom. We've been building a creation of our own just so that we could say, Welcome to the new Westside Learning Commons!